When we look at the whole you know, CNC of landscape or Kubernetes ecosystem, we have talked about some of the old pain points, you know, which were like complexity, scale, cost. But uh, we sometimes assume that everybody is a greenhorn, you know, everybody is, but there are a lot of legacy players, there are a lot of traditional players who are looking at that market. But when they look at complexity or all those things, how do you look at that player to move, bring them from those old legacy system to this modern Kubernetes system? I think the reality is so. So with MKE4 as an example, let's let's look about you know talk about the real elephant in the room when we talk about legacy. Everybody's concerned about VMs, and obviously the Broadcom and VMware world has changed a lot of what we talk about these days. So as we start to look at that, we've included, for example, Kubevert as part of our MKE. MKE is also designed to be very easy to deploy and manage. Um, that UI for MKE will have a Kubevert UI so that your traditional operator who's used to working through you know, UI point-click type UIs, um, and I don't think they're unsophisticated. I think those are very sophisticated operators in many ways. They're just used to a certain way of work. So we want to soften the transition for them by providing great UIs and great user experiences. Um, the world is rapidly moving forward though, and I think more and more people want to have Kubernetes in their environments. We want to make it easy to manage Kubernetes at scale. That's where, really where the project I spoke about earlier comes in. Um, how do we manage Kubernetes at very, very large scale, but without everybody having to become an expert? But if they have experts, those experts still have access to the core of the system, unchanged, you know, without any sort of lock-in, so that they can continue to manage and create their own custom environments as they need to.